Last week I showed you how to remember 16 digits of pi. This week I'd like to teach you how to read and write binary. Now immediately you're thinking, whoa, writing and remembering binary, that's like math and crazy computer sh Computer stuff. Actually, you only have to remember a couple different sets of rules, and as long as you can remember those rules, you can pretty much write and read binary. Okay, so some stuff that you don't need to know, but it's just good to know. Uh, first being, there are eight bits in one byte. So what is a bit? Well, a bit is either a one or a zero, an on or off. And this is how binary is represented. So eight of those makes one byte. Well, since we know that there are eight bits in a byte, to begin the binary set, we are actually going to double numbers eight times. And what I mean by that is we're going to put one, double that, you get two, double that, you get four, and so on until you've done it eight times. So we have four, 16, 32, 64, 128. So that's the first rule that you have to remember in order to read and write binary is take one and double it eight times. And that's actually going to represent our eight bits. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. You don't have to remember any of that. Just know double numbers eight times and that's what you'll get. Down here we'll have our ones and our zeros. That'll give us one byte of information. So let's just put a binary code down here. Now, I did that for a particular reason. So we have 64 and we have a one, which equals 65 when added. Now, the interesting thing about 65 is 65 equals capital letter A in ASCII 2 principal characters. So that is the second rule we need to remember is to add the ones, the ons, and that will give you a number. And I'm going to explain why that is in just a moment here. And that's 65 equals A. How do you write all different sorts of numbers with this? Well, let me show you. Uh, with the number, uh, let's say, 13. Okay, we don't have a 13, we have a 16. So I need to put one on eight, these become zeros, so I have eight. Uh, eight plus four is 12, so fits in there. And I still need one. Well, hey, luckily I have a one. Eight, four, and one, 13. It's all addition, so it's fairly simple to do all this. So. We have our first rule, and we have our second rule, 65 equals A. Well, 66 equals B. Can you guess what 67 is? That's right, 67 equals C. Okay, cool. So now we have the full alphabet in ASCII 2 printable characters for capital letters. Keep in mind, no spaces and no lowercase. I'll tell you where those numbers start once we finish this and have this down. So, so the two rules, obviously, A starts at 65, rule two. So now we have how to set up the binary set 
the byte, and the actual letters and numbers. So I want to do my name. My name is Matt. So in binary, I'm going to need M, A, T, and another T. So M seventy seven. We have a we have sixty four. So we need eight four one. Oh, 64 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1 equals 70. Equals 77. So fill in the gaps with zeros. That's our first binary strand. A, we already know, is 65. So we're going to put 1 in 64 and 1 in 1. And now we need 84 twice. So once we do one, we have the other. Well, we can't, we don't have an 84 and we can't mark 128. So we mark 128 with zero. It does fit in the six, 64 does fit in 84. So we'll put a one there and that should leave us with 20. Uh, well, can't use 32. Yeah, 16. Okay, it goes in there. So if we have 20, and so we just need one and four. And for T, we do that again. And that's my name, Matt, in all capitals in binary. So I've showed you how to do capital letters in binary, and it can be easily done by memorizing that 65 is the letter A. Also, writing the binary structure from right to left by doubling numbers eight times. Now, just to let you know, 32 equals space. So if you wanted space in between your words, 65 is the beginning of capital letters. So it's 65 to 90 is cap. 97 to 122 is lowercase. And obviously, you can look up the ASCII two printable characters so you know what numbers represent what. However, memorizing the capital letters is the easiest way to do it, and memorizing the two rules that I've given you today. And that's how you read and write binary. Until next time, have a great one.